Hello friends, in this video we will create the server certificate. One thing to notice about the server certificate is that we have two options to create this certificate. If we are using a local ser server or a testing server, then we can self-sign this certificate. If we want to use our server over the internet, then we need to submit our certificate signing request, the CSR file, to a global certificate authority which will sign and trust our CSR file and then return back to us and then we can use our server over the internet. Now, having said that, the first thing we need to do is that obviously we create the server key. And to do that, as usual, And as you have the same code to create any key, except the fact that we will use 2048-bit for encryption, not 4096. You can use 4096, but that will uh, put some overload over the server when it starts working, because it will uh, uh, take a bit of load on the server to encrypt and decrypt when you use 4096-bit. 2048 is a good combination for security and for performance of the server. Give a passphrase, confirm it, now we need to remove it, Okay, now we have removed the encryption from the server key. The next step is that we need to create the certificate signing request, the CSR file. This file, either we self-sign it, if we are using a local server or a testing server, or we submit to the a global certificate authority for signing and trusting, and then sending back to us. And the way to do that is with this code, as usual. This is the key for it to create the server certificate signing request. Now here we need to uh, uh, get attention that this is the final certificate for the entity that we want to create a certificate for it from the intermediate certificate. So here again this supposing company when we use it it should have the common name of this company, not same as the common name of the intermediate certificate. So uh, let me use another name. Uh, so in the section IT and the uh, fully qualified domain name, let's say uh, study .net and info at okay, this is the CSR that we have just created it for the server certificate. Now, this CSR file, you have two options now. Either you self-sign it, if you have a local server or testing server, or if you want to use your server over the internet, then you submit this file to the 
any global certificate authority that you can Google it and find there are a lot of them. You can pay some amount for them and they will sign and trust this for one year or two years depending. This is the way how you can do it. And then you can use the self, the, the signed and trusted certificate by the global authority in your uh, machine, in your server machine. In our case, we will go with the uh, self-signing the certificate to show you how we can do that. And the way to, to do the self-signing is by this line of code. Okay, now this is the code to create the server certificate. And you can see here that there are a few things you need to notice. <coughs> First of all, of course, the extension file that we will get all our configuration of the OpenSSL we will get from the intermediate uh, uh, version. The extensions here is important. We will use the server cert extension. You remember when we created the intermediate certificate, uh, we created an OpenSSL file for it and we did uh, a section of it for the server cert. We need to, because we are creating the server certificate, so we need to use this extension and we will sign this certificate of the server with the intermediate certificate and the key and we create an automatic number a serial number for this certificate and then we will go the output of it from the csr server csr and we output it to server cert.crt okay now we have got a self-signed server certificate The next step is that we need to verify that this server certificate has been uh, signed and trusted by the intermediate certificate. And the way to do that is sudo OpenSSL verify CA file, which will be at the intermediate cert root chain cert.crt and the uh, intermediate server so this way we will verify that this server certificate have been created signed and trusted by the intermediate certificate which is through the use of the root chain certificate or the trust chain of certificate if we get okay, that means our work is right and this certificate has been authenticated by the chain certificate. We have got the okay. Now we need to limit the access only to the root by changing the mode of it. Okay mood have been changed. Now, as you can see, we have got our server certificate. But remember one thing, this certificate is self-signed. So you cannot use it over the internet. You can use it, it's good for use with the a local server or a testing server, yes. But over the internet, you need to take the CSR file, submit to a global certificate authority. They will sign and trust for you and return back to you. And then you can use it on your server. This is the way you should do. Okay, thank you very much.